Let's now look at task 7 on the to-do list. Now, it's quite clear what it is. It is a spreadsheet task and it is the sponsorship spreadsheet that we need because, uh, second sentence of the first paragraph, could you please complete the sponsorship details spreadsheet and summary. So I've opened up this spreadsheet and I can see that there are two sheets. One has got sponsorship details and I can see we've got sizes of adverts and I can see we've got whether they are exhibitors are yes or no. And I can see at the bottom of the task here that there are different prices depending on the size they've taken out. If I click on to summary, I can see that they're also looking for us to add up all the number of adverts that's been sold and what is the value. But going back to the sponsorship details, now looking at the cost information here, we could actually put that onto the spreadsheet as data and turn this into a VLOOKUP, but we've done VNH lookups already in previous tasks. So the other way to retrieve information so we can automatically update column D is by doing an IF statement. And in particular for column D, we're going to do a nested IF statement. So how do we do that? Well, let's first of all click in cell D4. We're going to type in equals IF and then we're going to open the bracket. As soon as we open the bracket, it starts running us through a series of things to do. So we're in the logical test because it is bold. It is asking the question, if what? Well, if whatever is in cell C4, if that equals 2, and I'm just going to now run down these various options, if C4 equals the word quarter, and I put that in, in uh, speech marks, quarter, and I'm going to do a comma, then if that is true, what do you want to happen? Well, I want the price of £50 to go in, just five zero. But I'm not finished yet, so I do another comma, and I've got to do if again. If, open bracket this time, if in cell C4, if the words in C4 equals is exactly the word half, so just type in half with speech marks, then I can see there that the advert price is 80 so if it's not 50 and it's not 80, it must be 100. So by comma, and you'll see it jumps to value false, is 100. Now you'll see here we've opened up two brackets. We've opened up a black bracket, we've opened up a, a red bracket. So I close the, the red bracket and then I have to close the black bracket. And then I'm going to press enter. And you'll see there the cost, quite rightly so, has come up £80 for the half page size of advert. And if I copy it down, it will retrieve the correct cost depending on the size of the advert. Now moving on to column E, there's a note here and it says exhibitors are entitled to a 25% discount. I can see from the exhibitors field in column B we've got N's and Y's, no's and yeses. So what we're saying is if it's a yes, then you're going to give them 25% off their costs. If it's a no, then they're getting no discount. So starting in column E4, equals if again, equals if, open the bracket, question is if what? Now what we're saying is if whatever's in cell B4, if that is equal to Y, if it's exactly Y, if it picks up Y, comma, then what are we going to do? Well, if it's yes, then we're going to take their cost, D4, and we're going to multiply by 25% to work out the discount. So if it's yes, they get the cost times 25%. Otherwise, with a comma, otherwise, if it's not true, it's false. If it's not yes, it's no, therefore it's zero. And then we're going to close the bracket and press enter. And again, we'll see that's correct. So for the first exhibitor, sorry, they're not an exhibitor, the first uh, customer, the first sponsor. But if I copy down, I can see that where there's a Y, there is a discount amount attached. Now, I don't like the way it's formatted, it's not consistent, there's not pound signs, there's not two decimal places, so what I want to do, as it's still highlighted, is go up to number and then go to currency and then we have formatted it correctly. Now to work out the discounted cost, very straightforward, it is equals, it is the cost minus the discounted amount and press enter. Some will show no discount, 
but some will include that discount amount. Now, I can see another note up here and it's asking us to round down the discounted cost to zero decimal places. If I was to take away the decimal places uh, with the £37.50, it would actually round it up to 38 So to round it down, we have to add a very easy function around the formula we've already created and it is simply the round down function. So what I do is clicking on the first cell on F4, I go up to that formula and where it's got equals, I'm just going to click on the right of that and I'm going to start typing round down. And I can see there there's a few options and here if I double click I've got my round down. So you'll notice now, now I'm in the middle of a function. So what it's saying is you want to round down the number, well the number has been calculated already by our formula. After the E4, just like here there's a comma and it's asking how many number of digits. Well we're told it wants to be rounded down to zero. So type in zero close the bracket, have a quick look, check your formula there, so equals round down, open bracket, d4 minus e4, comma, zero. So that is how you put in the round down formula into another formula. You're just surrounding your formula with something else. Press enter, you'll see nothing's changed for the cost where it's zero anyway, but if we copy down, you'll notice where it said £37.50, it will round down to 37 so that's how you do the first part of the task. So the last thing we need to do is a sponsorship summary. We have to take the information from the sponsorship details sheet here and we have to summarise that into the smaller sheet here. We're going to do that by using the count if and the sum if formulas. So to work out number sold, click on cell B4. Let's go to insert function and let's look for the count if. So double click on count if, brings up the dialog box and we now have to think about where are we getting the information from. So what is the range? Well the range, if we click on the sponsorship details, is, and I'll just move this out of the way, is we want to count from this section here, this column here between C4 and C16. Now I'm actually going to highlight that again and I'm going to click on F4 to dollar sign that. Remember I want to fix that data into place so that when I copy down it'll keep referring to all the information between C4 and C16. The criteria is what am I looking up. In this, in this um, example we're looking up the size quarter a4 and I can see it returns here 5 which I think looks about right. Press OK. I can go up to B4 and I can copy down and you'll see we've got 5 quarter, 5 half and 3 full size adverts and I could do a quick auto sum just to add them up. I'll do the same to get the value but this time rather than count if I will use sum if. So again I'll click in C4, I'll go to insert function, I'll click on sum if this time. It takes me through the same steps, although we have an extra sum range here. So let's look at our range. We'll get our range from the sponsorship details. So let's start from the first uh, size of advert, C4, and let's go down to um, cell F16. Again, let me just highlight that and let me fix it into place with an F4. The criteria, well I'm first of all looking for it to add all the quarter size adverts, so I'll click on um, A4. The sum range, I'll go back into my sponsorship details and this time I'm just going to specifically look at column F because it's the column that holds all my costs. So I'm going to just highlight from um, row 4 down to row 16 and again I'm going to um, dollar sign that, fix it into place by clicking on F4. It's beeped, you know why it's beeped? Because I'm trying to highlight the exclamation F4 to F16 so I'm just going to highlight again more carefully and hit F4. You'll see there it's returning 211, hopefully that's that's the right answer and we're going to click on OK and in fact it's come here um, 211 pound, that, that's fine and then if I uh, copy that down it returns 
the value of sponsorship for all three sizes of adverts and then again I can do a quick auto sum just to add up the actual total for all three. So that's how you do the second part of task seven.